2020. Win together. The action continues in the My 11 circle. Lanka Premier League. It's match 14. It's the Colombo Kings up against the Gold Gladiators. Colombo Kings. They won the toss earlier and elected to bat. Something they've not done quite often in this tournament. Second time only. The Kings uh, will be taking strike. Just one change to this team. Dhamika Prasad comes into the side for Dushmanta Chimera. And you would think that Chimera has been rested. Already the Kings qualifying to the semi-final. And they've been performing. On the other hand, very different form from the Gold Gladiators. Two changes to the side. Sahan Archichige in the side. And two, Nuan Tusera. Two players in. Gunatileka, he's been excellent with the bat. Leading run scorer in the tournament. But they need to get a win. It's a more important match, you would say, for the Gold Gladiators. Because at the moment, they will be competing against uh, the Candy Tuskers. Another team in this tournament with only one win. So, it's a race for that final spot in the semi-final. First delivery, swing on offer. Will this be a different day for the, the Gold Gladiators with the ball? Sweet timing, sweet timing. He's got a magnificent half century. Not power required for this boundary. It was a mere tickle down the leg side. Well, first we got to go pick that up because that's a mile 11 circle champion shot, short and wide. Loud appeal, in swing on offer. I think the umpire reckons there was a nick on it, but they've asked for the DRS. Michelle Gibbs looks a bit worried, and should he be worried? Yes, hitting. And the dreaded finger goes up. Laurie Evans for seven, 19 for one. Daniel Bell Drummond. That's a clean strike. That's it through. Over the top, offside. That was far too slow. It was flighted, and Chandimao had all the time in the world to adjust his shot. What will he do now? Goes length, little too full. Gets the treatment. It goes all the way for six. All that high on the bat might be out. Is out. That is a big wicket. Chandimao has been in really good form as this tournament has progressed. Very important from a Gold Gladiator's point of view. He's so desperate to win. And Wickets is the way forward. That was, he cramped him up. It was quick and it was straight. Really didn't have enough space to play that shot. Onto him a little bit quicker. Gone for 35, 45 for two. Time for the skipper now. Matthews. Found that gap, a nicely played stroke. Should be a boundary, and it is. My 11 circle, champion shot that was. Catch it! Danny! Chance, yeah! take it! Wicket number three for Gold Gladiators. He is a good athlete, Chadwick Walton. He's not going to put these down. Good pair of hands. Comfortably in position, that's the important thing about the catch. Look at the skipper. Ball is delighted, as you would imagine. That is a big wicket. Now Matthews goes for 11. It's an interesting position, this. 69 for three. In there. How far has it gone? Far enough. Bill Drummond gets a six. Sliced away. 
Four runs. That's it. Looking to go down the ground, not hitting it well enough. Simple catch taken. Swallowed that. 74.2. He slowed it up. Made Priyanjan do all the work. He's through the shot, only gets the bottom of the bat. Goal Gladiator is a lot more motivated today. Ashan Priyanjan gone for five, it's 88 for four. Now that's a miss hit, but he's got away with it. Running away smartly, the outfield's quick today. It's gone for four. One bounce four. Rocky going to that back foot, his uh, chosen area to play from. Now who wants it? Who wants it? Sandakan calls, takes it. That's what you need to do. Back yourself against Andre Russell and you can do the job. Well, he's got to go. He's got to go because Sandakan's bowled beautifully. The flight, taking it away from him. We've seen it go past the bat on a few occasions, even in previous games. But the fact that the bowlers are intimidated by him, they're not relying on their skills. Sandakan does. Andre Russell gone for 11. It's 105 for 5. That is going to be a boundary to finish. That's exactly what he didn't want to do. Clipped away, beats the man. Sweetly timed, goes all the way. This should go all the way. Yeah, good strike, good muscle. Punched away, goes to the fielder, completes the catch. And Dananjo Laksha on the catcher. Very well taken there by Danan Dananjo Laksha. Bell Drummond, 44 36, 144 for six, the Colombo Kings. Amir, Amir. Goes fuller, but it's in the slot. It's miscued and it might present an opportunity taken. Chadwick Walton in the thick of things. That's his third catch of the innings. Bell Drummond getting out in the last over and the other set batsman, Tikshila De Silva, making that cardinal error, being dismissed himself. Looking to go over the top. And uh, well, Chadwick Walton making it look easy, getting underneath it. But this is perfect. This is this is just what the goal gladiators wanted. 27 for Tikshila De Silva, 146 for seven. That's high. It's gone for six. Goes full. Urs and Urs full. Finds the gap yet again. Is Surudana. Slapped away, goes for four. Was in the slot. And will be out, surely. That's fine there. It's a legal delivery. And we were searching for the Yorker. Didn't find it, turned out to be one in the slot region. It was a firm strike by K. Samad. Good timing of the jump. Throws it up just in time for him to go outside the boundary. Confirmation that K. Samad will have to depart. He's going for five. It's 165 for eight.
be interesting. I think he's just got in. He's gone. He's gone by a few feet. Tarin Dukausha diving. Just not good enough. So the goal that the are doing well. They're, they're picking up wickets quite regularly here. Kausha goes. 165 for nine. He's gone without score. Damika Prasad, the new batsman. It allows uh, Surudana to have the strike because they cross. Goes wide, goes full. And that will be another wicket for Mohamed Amir. When it rains, it pours. Just showing us why he's rated so highly. Going wide at uh, Isurudana. And uh, that's Banuka Raja Pucks almost at the edge of the 30-yard circle. Standing back and taking it. This is a good effort by the Gold Gladiators. 171 should be gettable. It's below par for sure. Really dented the Colombo Kings when they batted. Only two meaningful partnerships. 24 from Angelo Matthews and Daniel Bell Drummond. And then Drummond and De Silva. 39 they put together. The top scorer, Dinesh Chandamal at the start of the innings. Played quite well. Bell Drummond getting that top score of 44 from just 36. 171 is what they produce with the bat, the Colombo Kings. Well, the bowling is a good effort by goal. It's a combined effort. Mohamed Amir leading the way with 5 for 26. And it is great to see Lakshan Sandakan getting, getting amongst the wickets. 3 for 33, 8 dot balls in 4 overs. So a turnaround in bowling effort we've seen here from the Gold Gladiators. Can they get this target score? 172 is what they'll require in 120 deliveries. The Gold Gladiators just can't mess this up. They need to get over the line and this is their big moment. So just think also before we just look at the, the batting of the Gold Gladiators and uh, a start is, is so important for them. It was talked about before the start of play how important this is going to be for them to, to make sure they get going. The... Oh, that's crisp. And that's gone for four. So that's uh, tidy off the first over. Ten from it. Little paddle over the top of the keeper. That's gone for four. That's good batting. That really is putting the pressure back on Andre Russell. Into the gap. That's good connection, and that's beautifully played again. And that's gone for four. That was really nicely played. beautifully struck that is a wonderful wonderful stroke wait for balls like that dot balls will be the killer but width is the killer for the bowler squeeze the way through the offside pull the way three fours in a row Again, short and punish the wrong length. If you're going to go short, you've got to get it high. Got it through. My 11 circle champion shots below. More and more. Swept away. Very good finish to the over. Hammered. My 11 circle champion oh, yeah. shot, Esan yeah. Ali up to 48. Asami scores his first 50 of Langa Premier League. Wow! That's out, that's another wicket. 
or the first I should say to break the partnership nicely bold delivery from Kaizen once again a left-handed playing for the Gugli it wasn't another good start 38 from 28 but he couldn't carry on it's 97 for one that's the top edge it's flying over fine leg for six down to long on Russell underneath it quite a simple catch I sometimes wonder whether that was necessary it was a six and then a wicket He departs for 56, a well-played innings. This will give him a lot of confidence. It's 107 for two. Full toss, dealt with. In the gap at mid wicket, Azam Khan is off the mark. before use the angle quite nicely through extra cover punched away by Banuka Rajapaksa essentially partnership between these two clever very clever indeed good improvisation another boundary down the track, heavy, six. Great start to the over. It's gone again, and that's really good connection. That is a huge hit. Wow, that's gone a long, long way. That's uh, gone one bounce, four, no, two bounces in the end. That's uh, hammered along the turf. And that's gone for four. Well, short delivery and hammered. That has been hit a long, long way. Odana's getting some tap. That's uh, high on the bat, but that doesn't matter. He's so strong, this lad. He's just waved that like a wand, really, and it's gone for six easily. And he's just chipped that over the bowler and he's chipped it over the bowler for a one bounce four that's it what a great performance by the Gore gladiators they've got themselves two points we've been waiting a long time for that to happen they've done it now and they win this one by eight wickets a look at the match summary so this is uh, an important game this one because i think everyone was hoping the Gore gladiators would be able to get up and uh, get off the bottom they picked up two points. We'll have to see if they have got off the bottom at this stage yet. Colombo Kings 171. Bell Drummond, the uh, top scorer. Amir Khan was brilliant with his 5 for 26. And the Gladiators in reply 175 for 2. And the runs were shared evenly. And also the wickets won a piece. And the Gladiators getting up impressively by eight wickets. And a look at the points. Yes, the Gladiators have got off the bottom. There's the look at the uh, points table. The uh, Stallions, the Jaffna Stallions at uh, the top. Colombo Kings number two, the Dumbulla Viking number three, and the Q alongside each of those names. The fact that they've qualified for the semi-finals. They've each got eight points. And the Gore Gladiators now have finally got away from number five. They're at number four. They've got two points. The net run rate has helped their cause a little bit. And the Candy Tuskers uh, are not going to be in action uh, later today. They're in action in a couple of days' time. They've got two points, and they've got some work to do, and they've slid down to number five.